Hi, my name is Helen Roberts and I'm Senior Leader of Wellspring Church in Watford. During this global pandemic of COVID-19 that we're all navigating our way through, have you paused to wonder, does the God of the Bible, the miracle maker in the Bible, still heal today? Well, back in 1999, I was diagnosed with secondary terminal cancer when I had a lump removed from my leg. It was all meant to be straightforward and easy, but it turned out to be anything but. The doctors could offer no treatment because of the type of cancer it was and simply told me that they would try and keep me comfortable, but I was likely to die very quickly. Clearly, I didn't. The reason I didn't is because Jesus had a different narrative and as a Christ follower and I was given that diagnosis I did the only thing that I could do which was pray. I also rang a whole heap of friends who began to pray for me too. One of them who I rang happened to have a friend over from India who was a pastor and on his way to the UK he'd felt the Lord tell him that he would in fact pray for a woman with cancer to be healed and she would be but he'd not met a woman with cancer in the entirety of his trip until he heard about my news. So he was super keen to pray with me and I was quite keen to let him. So we met and he prayed. Now I don't know if in those few moments I was instantly healed, but what I do know is that my fear turned into faith and my panic turned into peace. And I literally had a peace that didn't make sense to any of my circumstances, but was very real. Soon after that prayer time, I went to my church where my husband and I had just started leading and told them what we were walking through. They too started to pray. Now when they were praying, one of the people who was praying for me was reminded of a story in scripture in Exodus in the Old Testament when the Israelites escaped slavery but then were delivered in a miraculous way from death by drowning. You see, what happened was, as they were leaving Egypt, they came to the Red Sea, but the Egyptian army was in hot pursuit because they changed their mind about letting them go to freedom. So they were either gonna die by the army or die by drowning. But into that crisis, the Lord spoke. And he said to them then, don't be afraid, just stand still and watch the Lord rescue you today. He went on to say, the Lord himself will fight for you, just stay calm. Sometimes there's nothing we can do, and it's God or no one. As these words were prayed over me, it was as if they came alive in a fresh way, and I believed them and held on to them and felt the Lord say he was going to heal me. As the doctors looked for further cancer, they couldn't find it, and every time they looked, I knew God was confirming he healed me. You see, the God of the Bible, the miracle worker of the Old Testament, who's made in human form of Jesus in the New Testament, is still very much alive today and able to heal. So if my life story has impacted you in any way, why not click on the link in this post?